Hey everyone, Happy New Year's 2018. That is if your Nest thermostat was working this morning. Unlike my in-laws who called me at 8 o'clock this morning and said their heat was not working and asked me if I could come over and look at their nests. So I said, sure, no problem. Um, I don't know where you guys live in the United States of America, but in the Midwest it was negative 5 this morning on the way over. Um, I got to their house and it was 54 degrees in the house, so pretty cold. After troubleshooting for probably about an hour, hour and a half, um, I was completely blown away and would not be surprised if Nest does not have a class action lawsuit heading their way. Completely blown away. So here's the dealio. Um, after troubleshooting with it, uh, not getting it to come on, uh, unplugging the Nest from the wall or unmounting it from the wall and plugging it into a micro USB charger, trying to get some power to it, to it and plugging it back in, could not do anything to get it to come back on. Called Nest was on hold for, I don't know, quite a while. Um, and then I noticed, uh, I didn't even notice like the first two or three times because you kind of tune out the, the recordings and the music and all that. But they're saying for if you're experiencing, you know, the following errors or if your Nest is completely black, um, go to www.nest.com slash winter help. So I did that, went there and was blown away. So here we, here we have this expensive, beautiful, fancy thermostat that's just, the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, and they say on the website that if, uh, if in extreme cold situations, um, your Nest thermostat may stop receiving power from your HVAC system. Um, not sure why. And, um, and it could cause your Nest to disconnect from Wi-Fi. It could also cause your Nest not to charge, which will cause your Nest to completely power off and your heat stop working. Blown away when I read that. I'm like, how does this even happen with, with a thermostat this nice, this expensive, this top notch, just kind of blown away. So um, the workarounds, uh, uh, not great. So th the workaround they have listed is uh, if you don't have a C wire, so on the back of your thermostat, you're going to have different wires like Y1, C, R, W, and so on. If you don't have a dedicated C wire, then the workaround is to unplug the Y1 wire, take electrical tape and wrap the electrical tape around it, tuck it back away nice and neatly, and then remount your Nest. Now, yes, that did work. Um, it is in the process of charging right now. I cannot connect it to Wi-Fi quite yet because it's still charging. Um, but you can at least turn the heat up and get the heat working again. The problem is Y1 is your air conditioner. From, from what I'm understanding, Y1 is your air conditioner, and your air conditioner is what feeds the trickle charge of electricity to your thermostat, to your Nest thermostat to receive power. So, since you've unplugged Y1 and wrapped electrical tape around it to get your heat working, in the summer, when the summer rolls around and starts getting warm out again, we're going to have to uh, unmount it again, take the electrical tape off, and plug the wire back into Y1. Blown away when I read this. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to put this out there. Um, I have a friend of mine that has a brother-in-law that... Uh, uh, they spent several hundreds of dollars. I was probably guessing five or six hundred dollars on having somebody come out today because it's New Year's Day. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of people available, and it's uh, and if they are available, they're going to charge two or three times the amount. Um, and come to find out, um, it was their nest. So uh, hopefully, this helps anybody else who might be having this problem this morning. Good luck getting your house warm, and uh, have a great 2018.